Welcome back to Amateur Money. Today, we're tackling a crucial issue. Why owning a car is becoming increasingly unaffordable. Rising car prices, higher interest rates, soaring insurance premiums, and costly maintenance are making it tough for many people to keep a vehicle on the road. We'll break down each of these factors and offer practical tips to help you navigate these challenges. Have you struggled with car expenses recently? What's been the most surprising cost? Share your experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to explore our other videos for more insights on personal finance designed to help you manage your money smarter and achieve your financial goals. Let's dive in. Rising car prices. So why are car prices so high right now? Well, it all started with the COVID-19 pandemic, which threw a wrench into global supply chains. One of the biggest issues was a shortage of microchips crucial for building modern cars. With fewer chips available, car production slowed down significantly, leading to fewer new cars on the market. On top of that, inflation has been pushing up the costs of raw materials like steel and aluminum, as well as labor costs. All these increased expenses get passed down to consumers, which is why the average price of a new car in 2024 is around $47,244. Now, how does this affect potential buyers? When car prices are high, buyers often need to take out larger loans, which means higher monthly payments and more interest paid over time. This can put a serious strain on household budgets, especially for families with fixed or lower incomes. If you're feeling the pinch of these high prices, there are a few strategies that might help. For starters, consider looking into the used car market, where prices can be more reasonable. When you're at the dealership, don't be afraid to negotiate the price. Sometimes you can get a better deal than the sticker price. Timing your purchase can also make a big difference. Dealers often offer discounts at the end of the year or when new models come in. And of course, shopping around for the best financing options can save you a lot in interest costs over the life of your loan. Have you felt the impact of rising car prices when shopping for a vehicle recently? How have you adjusted your strategy to cope with these higher costs? Interest Rates on Car Loan What's happening with interest rates for car loans? Lately, we've seen interest rates for car loans on the rise, reflecting broader economic conditions and adjustments in monetary policy. When central banks, like the Federal Reserve, increase interest rates to control inflation, it causes borrowing costs to go up across the board, including car loans. Higher interest rates mean that financing a car becomes more expensive, as buyers end up paying more in interest over the life of the loan. Even a small increase in the interest rate can add thousands of dollars to the total cost of a vehicle. Now, how can buyers manage these higher rates? Improving your credit score is a crucial step because lenders offer better rates to borrowers with good credit. It's also smart to shop around and compare loan offers from different banks and credit unions to find the best deal. Considering shorter loan terms is another strategy. While this means higher monthly payments, it significantly reduces the total interest paid over the loan's duration. Have you had to adjust your budget to accommodate higher loan payments? If so, what strategies have you found most effective in managing these increased costs? Insurance costs. Insurance premiums have also been climbing, adding another layer of expense to car ownership. Insurers have raised rates due to factors like increased repair costs, higher claims, and even changes in driving behavior post-pandemic. As more people returned to the roads, accident rates went up, leading to more claims and, consequently, higher premiums. What can drivers do to manage these rising insurance costs? One approach is to shop around for better rates. Different insurers offer different premiums, so it pays to compare. Additionally, bundling your car insurance with other policies, like home insurance, can often get you a discount. Increasing your deductible can lower your monthly premium, but be sure you can afford the higher out-of-pocket costs if you need to make a claim. Finally, maintaining a clean driving record and taking advantage of any available discounts, such as those for safe driving or low mileage, can also help keep your insurance costs down. Have you seen your insurance premiums go up recently? What steps have you taken to keep these costs under control? Maintenance and other costs. How are maintenance costs affecting car affordability? Maintenance costs have also risen due to higher prices for parts and labor. Regular maintenance is crucial to keep vehicles running smoothly. 
but these rising costs can quickly add up. Even routine repairs can become a significant financial burden for those on a tight budget. The cost of parts has increased due to supply chain disruptions and inflation. While labor costs have gone up as mechanics' wages rise to match living expenses. So, what steps can car owners take to manage these expenses? First, staying on top of regular service schedules can help prevent major issues down the line. Routine maintenance, like oil changes and tire rotations, can extend the life of your vehicle and avoid more costly repairs. Shopping around for the best prices on parts and services can also make a big difference. Don't hesitate to compare quotes from different mechanics or look for discounts and deals. Additionally, considering extended warranties that cover certain repairs can provide some financial relief. How have you been managing your car maintenance costs in this economic climate? Have you found any effective strategies to keep your vehicle running smoothly without breaking the bank? In conclusion, affording a car in 2024 involves navigating high prices, rising interest rates, expensive insurance, and increased maintenance costs. While these challenges are significant, being informed and proactive can help you make the best financial decisions. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Amateur Money, and leave your comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences. And don't forget to check out our other videos for more tips on managing your finances.